As SOLIDWORKS designers, if we can show our assemblies in action, moving and functioning as they would in real life, we'll have a much easier time exciting our audience and conveying our design intent. One easy way to do this from within SOLIDWORKS is to use advanced and mechanical mates. And today, I'm going to show you how to do that. This vice assembly is partly defined with standard mates. To introduce lifelike open and close movement in the assembly, I can use the limit distance advanced mate. I measure the distances needed for the opening and then apply the limit distance mate found under the advanced mate tab. The limit distance mate will allow the face of my screw component to move between the preset min and max distances that I have measured and imitate realistic operation for my audience. This better demonstrates my design's operation than a standard distance mate with no movement. The handle on this vice's locating hook can currently rotate without any bounds. The angle limit mate allows me to define how much this hook may rotate. I'll choose the entities to define my angle, the straight face of the hook, and a horizontal face of the base should do. I'll then define the rotational angle limits of the hook to a realistic 0 and 90 degrees. These angles will imitate the positions the hook will take when positioning the vise down to a fixture and more clearly show this part's function to my audience. The width mate can be used when you have a component or a sub-assembly that needs to stay between the bounds of two faces. Width mates require the user to select the bounding faces as the width selection and the face or faces of the component that will contact the width faces as the tab. Different positioning options are available in the width mate such as dimension, percent, and centered that will lock the location of the component or it can be free to move between the width faces. This mate is more intuitive than the limit distance mate on width bound components. It is also an intelligent way to utilize the symmetry of your models for positioning. Adding a few advanced mates to an assembly does increase complexity and lengthen rebuild times, but there are many situations where the extra complexity is worth it. We are more clearly demonstrating our design intent to our desired audience. Be sure to watch the rest of the videos in our series on advanced mates. Next video we will be covering gear, screw, and rack and pinion mates. And watch through to the last video of this series to learn how to use advanced mates and the mate controller to animate your assemblies for automated demonstrations.